what's up everyone welcome back to another episode of tipsy trip and rednecks 2.0 e-bike crap so today i'm going to show you how to take out the lithium batteries out of a daymac pit hog max e-bike remember do never buy one of these pit hogs never nope stay away highly do not recommend buying a pit hog max or anything daymac in that matter so to start you need to remove the seat so you want to unbolt this and unbolt that which is an eight millimeter now i want to, i got a flashlight on because i don't have the best lighting and it's nice and quick too which is still nice you know the tail gemini i have Batteries come out, door unlatch, unplugged, done. Batteries would have already been out by now, but no. I had to buy this piece of crap. If you guys are looking for a good e-bike, uh, check out uh, Teo, Teo e-bikes, especially the Gemini and the Teo Leo from uh, RideTheWindEbikes.ca. But anyways, we're going to go to the next section. And there'll be one screw here. Which is, I'll make it easy for you guys. You can see what it is, but it's a star. And then, oh yeah, he put some crazy glue on it. And you gotta make sure if you have extra zip ties because of Daymax frame snapping, you should cut the zip ties. Okay, and then all you do is uh, you pull it. Uh, got some uh, stupid super glue on there. Yeah. And then you just slide it back once you get all the glue loose and zip ties broke loose to hold your bike together. See that clip there? It slides under here. Oh, something else, you always shut off your e-bike, so with the pit hog, like, not shut it off, but turn off the power. Oh, so right there is the breaker. You switch it, now it absolutely has no power. Battery switch. Holy son of a freaking gun, that one is tight. Whoa. I got a little toasty there. Toasty holy. Then you get your eight mil again. And if I wasn't lazy, I'd just go downstairs and get another extension. I'm I'm not lazy. I got the extension. Okay, once you get it off, you don't have to worry about the nut, it's welded onto the bottom. And then you have your metal piece here. It just slides out. There's a little Thing it slides into and there we have our batteries the battery the daymac advertises 72 volt 32 amp hour it's actually a 30 amp hour oh, but so guys What the hell? This battery sucks. See, with the Gemini, at least the Gemini had a port, so if you, when you pulled the battery out, you could charge it. I know it's probably because there it's designed to be removable, but still. What happens if someone did this because they had to keep this bike outside for the winter? How would they charge this battery through the winter? They couldn't. They would have to... Uh, yeah, I don't 
don't know. Yeah, okay guys. Let's take another look at Dan Maxwell job. Okay, that's going to be it for that video, guys. Have a great day. Make sure you stay tipsy, stay tripping, and stay doing what you love. And don't buy a day math pet hog. Cheers, y'all.